simple understanding number four. This is about community. I've established, you know, the world we see is down to the floor of prana from the coaxial signal here. And this gives rise to the differentiation of the senses. From the sense of heat, which is the sexuality, and then we have the sense of position, of being in the right position, like a hunter, like a prey, because this is about food, gravity, dealing with the situation. You can see the complica complexity of the world we've developed uh, on these, you know, ten dimensions. But it is a flow of energy, it is the flow of the, the dark energy, the prana that creates all this. So even though it's so overwhelmingly powerful, you know, more powerful than the Kundalini, more powerful than, than the breath energy, we cannot see it. Yet it is the light that flows through everything and creates everything. Of, of the of the hologram, the holographic universe that we project from the synesthetic superpixels. Now, as we relate to each other, we have a conscience. Now, the per when we have a conscience, we express that we become a perfectionist. When we have an intuition, when we express that intuition, we become an empath you know, a mirror, a sister, an assistant. When we smell something, whether it's at home or peaceful, we, 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 we become a, a diplomat. We can smell fear, we can smell love, so we can be diplomatic. We can, you know, the smell can tell us in the place. So we can be dip, diplomatic relating to each other, but expressing a bad smell diplomatically, you know, the quietly B.O. sort of advert of years ago. Here we have the voice, the sound of the voice, in which, I, uh, you know, expresses the feelings, expresses the, you know, the, the anger, the rejection or acceptance in relationships. And that becomes the officer, the control freak the commander, the one who's ordering everybody around, the one who's insisting. Here we have the vision, the observer, so we see things and that gives rise, rise to the idea that there's an observer, there must be somebody seeing, well it's, you know, it's just a fifth dimension. The movement of that fifth dimension in the third under the wave creates the pressure. The pressure becomes emotions and a sense of touch. And then we become sensitive when we become a gardener, we become a gentleman. So this is the officer, this is the gentleman, this is the scholar, the taste. We get the shapes of object, put it in our mouth, the different shaped leaves, different tastes, and we catalogue that. So here we have a catalogue, an inventory of all the objects in our lives. This is not just the objects we feel around us. These are all the platonic forms of objects that could possibly exist that we know of, that we can imagine. Here we have heat, which gives us the hunter, the knight errant, the one on a mission the driving force, the inner you know, the ambition, the, the sexual energy, the Kundalini, and there we have the position, the kata, the posture, the posture, the readiness to act, the actor, the actor through body language. So all of these personalities are a way of expressing sensory information to each other in the group. And so we're all multiple personalities functioning together in a group. So the best way is to have a team of ten, with this one as the you know the secretary, 
this one was the 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 leader. This one, you know, giving the commands. This this one being sensitive. This one being discreet. If you like. This one, you know, knowing all the catalogues and all the the objects required. This one dealing with the energy. This one dealing with the timing of things. You need need to do this now. The orders and this one actually doing it, doing the work, moving the objects, so we can all work. So the key is to understand the cooperation of the personalities inside and to use that in a team, you know, a team of ten. Now this was the basis of Hengis Khan, Hengis Khan, Genghis Khan was groups of ten, a hierarchy, so one was in a higher group of ten and then, you know, so on a complete pyramid, ten at the centre and then a hundred and then, you know, a thousand and, and so on. So we need to structure our education and our psychology and our understanding and our training on the development of these personalities and their interrelationship within teamwork. We shouldn't be concentrated on an ego, which is just the observer, which is either success or failure, which is to cripple the psyche. The psyche has got all these multiple personality, which is perfectly healthy. So we need to be able to operate with a group of people and not be, you know, a little ego, a little child, infantile, a celebrity. We need to develop our personalities and develop it, our teamwork in order to work as a community. Otherwise, we're just isolated individuals owning things, full of our self-importance and self-pity and isolation, which is nonsense. It's not what we are. We're multiple personalities relating in group in groups in the community. This is what we need to develop. community life.